fall is here, and if you're looking for that autumn buzz, it's time to start thinking pink. Here to tell us more about the season's biggest beverage trend is rose wine expert Bodvar Hofström. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Oh, All so right. you brought us a bottle of rosé. Yes. You're already my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you needed to do. But you know, when you think rosé, you think spring or summer. You don't necessarily think fall. So why is rosé so hot for this season? Well, uh, rosé wine is starting to be consumed all over the year mm -hmm. now, more and more. And start to be appreciated even, you know, it's not in, uh, during the summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so, um, and we're planning now for next year here in New York. So you need to be here and to look on next year. And I heard now in, in Hamptons this year, it was shortage of right, rosé wine. <laughs> and we took the Viking boat over here to see if we can, you know, provide for next year here. So uh, I'm very, uh, very happy to be here. Okay. Well, you know what? Rosé has been popular in Europe for years, yeah. but it's just now starting to gain popularity popularity in the U.S. Why do you think that is? Rosé wine is more uh, than a product. It's a lifestyle. Mm. And I think that uh, in, in that lifestyle, uh, it, it comes to European lifestyle mm -hmm. and sometimes to Saint-Tropez, where the wine is from. Mm -hmm. So I think we live in a more global world now mm. and with the Internet. So we, we see the trends coming and, and the Rosé wine now have been going very strong for the five, six years now in Europe. And for the last two years, very strong uh, coming in uh, here in uh, America. So how do we go about choosing a quality rosé? What should we be looking for? French rosé. French mm. rosé. Yeah, from Saint-Tropez, of course. Okay. Yes. No, I think, you know, there are very good uh, rosé wines uh, throughout the world. Mm -hmm. Now the Côte de Provence have been very uh, popular. Over the, uh, between 2012 and 2013, the import increased uh, by 40%. Mm, okay. So trend is different. So is the, that right? Yeah. And on okay. average, how much should we spend on a bottle of rosé? It's more. I, America is number one country in the world spending over $10 on, on a bottle. Mm. So uh, I think uh, retail uh, between $20 and $25. Okay. I think you find the, the best rosé wines. All right. So maybe we should just try a little something, yes. huh? <laughs> we have some friends. If you pour a little, yeah. we have some friends that are going to help us taste test yes, here. Yes, of course. And, right. and while you're pouring, Bodvar of Sweden has pr been producing wines for how long? Well uh, over I said, years? Our family uh -huh. have, have worked with wine over... Uh, 160 years. 160 wow. years, yes. my goodness. So it's in your blood. It's in my blood, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yes. So here I am, and uh, uh, our family yes. have been working in Scandinavia and, and uh, in, in Europe. Mm. But I'm the first one in the family coming over to America working with our products. Expand the brand. All right, we have our wonderful co-workers, Janice and Charmaine yes. here. They're going to help yeah. us out. Yeah. Let's see mm. here. Taste it. Now, Janice, you are of age, right? <laughs> she yeah, she looks so young. Her. Right, right, Carter. <laughs> all right, so you and drink it. And we all have to drink think. responsibly, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I can't drink. Yes, yeah. I'm being yeah. responsible. You me that How do you think that the Swedish wine, wines differ from those from other places around the country? Well, European wines, it's mm -hmm. um, we're a little more into dry uh, wines, and um, America have been a little more into the sweeter uh, rosé wines, but uh, that's turning. Mm -hmm. uh, the more you drink, the more uh, generally you go to the drier uh, okay. side. So um, it's uh, uh, so, so, so more uh, uh, it's coming to the drier in, in America. Okay. Now, if we wanted to offer a proper Swedish toast, what would we say? <laughs> Skål, first of all. Skål. Yes. Skål. Okay. And this is uh, something that's... Uh, and, and also, you take up to the third bottom mm -hmm. here. You look on the people around. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you take a sip. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Okay. And down to the third bottom. Uh -huh. Third bottom. Yeah. And then down. And never take uh, the glass over your nose. Oh, oh, there's a whole that, science to this yeah, thing. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, it is. walk us through it again. So it's right it here. here. Chest level. Third bottom yeah. from, from the top, okay, down. Okay, down. Yes. Yes. And okay. then you sip. Sip, yep. okay. And then down again. Down. Uh -huh. And you look on each other. Look, look, look. Hello. Yes. Hello. And then down on the <laughs> table. And down on the table. And do we say, and we say skål? Skål, you skål. say. Skål. 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 All right. Skål. <laughs> skål. <laughs> I'll keep the cheers. I know that one. Skål. Where can we buy your wines? <laughs> uh, you, you will be able to buy it through uh, hotels and restaurants throughout the United States. All right. Uh, yeah. So. Bodvar, thank you so much yes. for being here. Skål! Thank you for being here. Right. I appreciate Skull. it. And we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.